What's up guys? For today's shave, we're going to be using PAA's Sangra de Drago. Coming right up. Welcome back to the Lather Hog channel. I'm your host John. And for today's shave, uh, we're using a soap that I feel like is great for cold weather, uh, good for that winter weather, and that is Sangra de Drago by Phoenix Artisan Accouchements. First of all, let's talk about the artwork here. Really cool, the Plague Doctor, Plague Mask, a lot of cool rich history that uh, you can look up after I'm done with today's shave. But uh, the scent itself, let's open her up. Really nice, really nice kind of rich woody mix. Again, sandalwood is kind of the most familiar note. Um, Oud is pressing in the background and Dragon's Blood, I'm not super familiar with, uh, although that is kind of you know, where the name is derived from, but uh, it kind of melds all together really well. This version of the soap is not the CK6, but just the standard, the cocoa butter shave soap formula. So with that being the soap, let me show you what else is in the shave today. For the razor, I'm gonna go with the Tatara Masamune Dark, and this is loaded with a brand new Rapira Platinum Luxe Blade. For my brush, I'm going with the Dogwood Handcrafts fitted with the Decoration B8 Knot. While I don't have the matching splash for this soap, I did check out TryThatSoap.com and it suggested The City by The Club, so we'll be going with that for today. Before moving on, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Doing so would really help the growth of this channel and keep you informed of when new videos drop. All right, so while I'm face lathering, I did mention the, the main notes that include dragon's blood, sandalwood, and oud, but there are some additional accompanying notes. So let me just put up the scent notes for you right now. In particular, I do really like sandalwood for uh, the cool weather months. And while I haven't tried a whole lot of scents from PAA, uh, this was, one from probably like about 10 samples or so I got like uh, of aftershave samples and it was a really good ec economical way to kind of test out a bunch of scents um, from that artisan. There's something about the kind of woody, kind of incense-like nature of sandalwood. I really enjoy this time of year that is just a little too strong or a little too heavy for the, the warmer months. All right, so here we have the lather. I'm working with two days worth of beard growth, not too, too much. And here we go in with that Tatara Masamuni Dark. So at the time of this recording, it is nearing the end of December, and Christmas is right around the corner. And this is uh, the time of year where, I don't know, it's, it's kind of natural for uh, a lot of reflection, looking back on the months prior. So that's a little bit of the, that, that's a little bit of the mood I'm in. In particular, trying to take stock of the, the good things that have happened uh, for 2020. In terms of this channel, in terms of the Ladder Talk podcast, and other kind of other ventures and opportunities in this wonderful hobby of wet shaving. Definitely can't dismiss um, the support from um, all you regular viewers and definitely the, uh, the wonderful interactions I have just in our, uh, the larger wet shaving community. I'm always amazed and inspired by uh, the, the generosity that I see, um, you know, whether it be um, veteran wet shavers reaching out and um, gifting things to brand new wet shavers. 
or the generosity of artisans themselves, whether they're raising funds for um, causes you know, that are needed support or even just people uh, within the community who are in need of help. It's definitely a source for positivity, um, for hope in times where it can seem very dark and very difficult. I also do want to give a quick shout out to my buddy DK Damn Fine Shaves. Uh, just recently he released his pick for uh, his five favorite winter scents. He has a fantastic list, so definitely check out DK's channel. I'll leave a link in the comments below. And as far as when uh, the, the winter list is hitting for, for my own channel, uh, keep an eye out for it next week. I just want to encourage anyone, uh, whether you're a content creator on YouTube or else, you know, elsewhere, um, even in the comments below, uh, I'd love to hear from you what your list would be. There really are no parameters. Some people like to just say um, since that you, uh, came out you know, in the year 2020 or just, just five of your favorite for the season. I encourage you, if you wanna make a video on that, by all means do so and let me know so I can help plug it. You never know when you might discover a new favorite in the sharing of those kind of lists. All right, so here we go against the grain. I haven't used this formula in a long time, so you'll have to pardon my uh, my being more quiet today. I guess it goes along with the more reflective period <laughs> that uh, we're in right now, but I'm also just trying to pay attention and uh, just see how you know see how this soap is performing. I'll say that the uh, this coconut butter shave soap it does leave a kind of a buttery feel um, after you rinse off the face, which I think is going to aid in post shave at least. Slickness is I think above average. It's not necessarily uh, it doesn't quite match some of the top tier soaps or some of my favorites such as Declaration of Milk Steak or uh, Zingar Sago. But it's not gonna get in the way of the shave, just compared to maybe some of the top tier offerings. Uh, I would say this slickness maybe, but no slash by any means. Just gonna clean up here. Now with the post shave, we're going with the city uh, from the club. And that is a very similar scent as you can see on the bottle right here. It says sandalwood and oud. So let's give her a shake. The scent here is definitely, it's different, but um, they're in the same family and they're complementary. So I'm pretty happy with um, how, how, how these two are working together. I might have to do a side-by-side -side comparison with this soap base compared to the uh, more updated CK6. Uh, just based on memory alone, I, I do like that CK6 better. It does afford more slickness Post shave, I can't speak to that just yet. That might be something I'll have to kind of test off camera um, as far as how they compare. I would I would guess though that the improvements in the, the soap itself, uh, that, that CK6 will be better. How much better remains to be seen. One thing I forgot to mention was the scent strength, uh, I realize now, and I'm a little hesitant to do so because this was a uh, piff to me uh, from a friend. So uh, at least for my tub here, I would say it's about, you know, five out of 10, 4.5 or five out of 10. Um, still really nice. I think uh, if this is a scent that was too strong, like like a seven or more, uh, it would, quite, would be quite overpowering and maybe, maybe too much. All right, so again, today we're using Sangre de Drago by PAA in the Cocoa Butter Shave Soap Formula. Uh, very solid shave, no complaints. I do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by for today's video and for joining me for this shave. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Take care.